Today is a classical historical figure. We have Eleanor Roosevelt, who actually was born, and her name is Anna Ele Eleanor Roosevelt. But, uh, and she was born in New York City, October 11th, 1884. Um, anyways, so we're gonna do her. So we're gonna do her face first. Um, we're gonna do, it's kind of gonna be like a rounded, an egg, very eggy. Oops, very egg. So we got this giant egg, huge egg. This is gonna be where her hairline is across here. This is gonna be where her eyes are. And she's looking kind of sideways. We'll have her nose and her mouth. She's gonna be looking kind of like this way. Okay. And her ear will have it coming over here. We'll see part of it. And, and of course, this is gonna be her mouth right there. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, I always like to start with the eyes. We're gonna start with the eyes here. So we know that, well first let's say, okay, we got the nose in here. And then this eye is gonna be touching right here. She has a very, it's called a heavy lid. It's where she's got a lot of skin up there. It's called a heavy lid. Nothing wrong with the heavy lid. That's just what she has. Everybody looks different. So we're gonna bring her eye up here. I might make this heavier right here. Bring this down. Okay, so we're gonna put her eye in there. And we're gonna put her shiny and her pupil. Excellent. I wanna leave a little space here and we're gonna put the other eye with her heavy lid on this side. And that's gonna come up a little. So when she was little, she loved the name, her middle name. She didn't like her first name. Her first name was Anna. I love the name Anna. My middle name's Anne, so I have a little fond for that. But her middle name was Eleanor, and she thought as a kid, Eleanor was better, more elegant. She liked it. Her mom would tease her and call her Granny because she just thought she was just an old-fashioned comedy, like just so funny. She's a little old lady, but she was a kid. She liked to go by the name of Eleanor. So Eleanor stuck, and she would introduce people, she'd always say that she was Eleanor. I thought that was cute. We're gonna put a little, so that's a race, this part. But unfortunately, her mom died when she was eight years old. Isn't that sad? Yeah. Anyways, they didn't have, ooh, healthcare was a little different back then. These are her little wrinklies. And that's her under eye. I mean, she's an older lady here, right? And a little crease there. All right. Um, so who is Eleanor? Well, she's the most influential first lady married to Franklin D. Roosevelt, who became president in 1933. Okay, let's get her eyebrows in here. So she was one impactful lady she, at that time. She wanted um, human rights for people. She really fought for that. She fought for women's rights, all that stuff. She was amazing. Definitely a woman before her time. She was definitely here on earth for a reason. All right. So those are like her little wrinkles in there. And we'll do her nose. is going to have just a slight little lump to it. And then we're going to put her nose is going to come out. And her little nostril nose, and then this part. Okay? When you do do it, you're gonna wanna make this a little heavier and then put a shadow under there when you color it. But we'll do that when we color. All right, so now we're gonna do her head. So right here, we're gonna erase this top part of this oval. And, oh, we've got her lips down here. So this is like her little lip. Maybe up a little higher. Okay, let's do her mouth. So we're just gonna do a slight. I just made her smile just a bit. Um, why not? You know, I mean, she's done some great things in this world. 
and then her lips. She had definitely full, amazing lips. Um, not all of us are blessed with full lips, me being one of them, but she did. And in a lot of the pictures, I don't know if she had like buck teeth or a little, but she always kind of like had this little part in her lip when she smiled. And then she had this big, perfect bottom lip here. All right. And put that right there. Looking good. Um, so let's do her chin. So down here, of course, since she's an older lady, she's going to have, these are, I think, called chin jowls. It's just when the skin starts losing its collagen and elasticity, it's fine. Happens to all of us. Unless you're the Kardashian and you can get all the plastic surgery you want. Well, anyways, they didn't have that back then. And I don't recommend it to anybody. So let's just not, let's just age gracefully, okay? Here we go. All right, so she's got her neck. It's gonna kind of come down like this. They didn't have any surgery to suck out all the chin stuff. She's just gonna age gracefully and beautifully. She's a beautiful lady, inside and out, all right? And this is gonna be her, we're gonna connect it like this, bringing down her neck a little bit. We're gonna raise so it looks like it's, see the connection right there? And her smile lines. She probably had a lot of smile lines because she does so much good. We might even like, um, maybe I'll bring this out just a smidge. So it just looks like she's got something to her, some plump to her cheekies, cheeky cheekers, just a little bit. And her ear, a little piece of the ear, gonna come in here, okay? That's her ear. And then the ear lobe here. She did not have her ears pierced. Um, she probably wore maybe clip-ons. I never saw a picture with earrings on. She wasn't, but she always had beautiful pearl necklaces on. She did like that. Okay, she's looking beautiful. Okay, now we are going to take, hmm, this is gonna be her jacket, suit jacket. She's looking professional here. Bring this down. Looking professional. Yeah. I'd like to meet her someday. Is she alive? No, of course not, but you know, maybe in the next life. Okay, here we go. And bring this down. Let's see, oh, so when she was eight, I said her dad died. I mean, her mom died, but her dad was an alcoholic and he could not raise her. And so she became going to her, she went to her grandmother's house and she was raised by her grandmother. And as a youth, she loved playing field hockey and she said one of the most favorite days of her life is when she made her school's field hockey team so she was really excited about that all right we're just going to indicate where our pearls are so our pure pearls are going to come in here I made her through thin layers when I see her she's sometimes got many layers of pearls so we have all these pearls and then when you draw in here you're just going to draw circles to connect our pearl necklace All right, I just loaned my daughter a set of my pearls that I think my mom gave me to my daughter because she's going to China to perform for three weeks and she had to have a black and white attire and look all beautiful. So I let her borrow my pearls. She's gonna look so pretty. She borrowed my black dress and we made her a white bow because it's a black and white affair. She's gonna look beautiful. I don't have many times to get too fancy dancy unless I'm going to church, but that's not, that's medium fancy dancy. Not super fancy dancy, like going to a um, diplomat ball. One time I had to go with my husband for work. It was like a diplomat ball where it was fancy. Like women were wearing gowns and uh, it was fancy, fancy. I ended up wearing one of my daughter's prom dresses 
that did not fit me. Yeah, it was lovely. Um, I just didn't zip it up all the way in the back. It was fine. It's fine. It's fine. But um, I fit right in. So I think I even got my hair done or I tried to look all fancy. Okay, so we are going to do her hairline. So she's got this part up here. So we're going to make this part come here. And then she has got uh, swooshy swoosh. She's got curls that are going to come in and swirl around. So you see how that swirled? And then this hair, we're just going to make it come out. There we go. Whoosh. And we can bring some more hair in there. And then this is the other part. It's going to swoosh too. We're going to go whoosh. What else do we know? Let's see. Eleanor um, organized women-only press conferences um, when her husband was in the presidency because they'd all have only male press conferences. And she wanted to level a playing field. So she'd have only women press conferences, which benefited all the women because now the um, newspapers and the press would start hiring women to go to these um these press conferences, reporters would hire reporters. Anyways, good job. So they got more women to get in there and get into the politics and stuff, which is great. All right, so we got some swirls here. Her hair, okay, to be honest, a little tricky, tricky, tricky. So she's got lots of swoosh. I don't know how they did their hair back then. I'm assuming lots of hairspray. And usually back in those days, they'd only wash their hair um, once a week, it was usually on Saturday night before, um, church the next day. And so their hair was a little bit, uh, uh what I'd say dirty enough to form how you want it. Right. Anyways, nowadays, I think we take a lot more showers than they used to. I mean, I do. Um, yeah, I like my daily shower. Yes, I do. Lovely. Okay, so that's some like curlies over here. I might even do one more at the top here. Now we're gonna do some curlies over here. Let me put some lines here. And we're gonna do some more swishes. And then we're gonna make this. So we're gonna make her hair go swoosh, swoosh, and do swooshies. Oh, she looks magnificent. So I'm going to Sharpie and I'm going to show you how I colored her. Okay, so let's Sharpie. I'm taking a big Sharpie around the outside and then I will erase. Okay, we're gonna start with the skin tones. So we're gonna be coloring her skin peach. What else do we know? Eleanor once flew oh, with Amelia Earhart. Um, we all know her. And it inspired Eleanor to, Eleanor to get her pilot's license. Um, and I think she said in a, a quote once that Eleanor Rose, uh, when Eleanor Roosevelt said that she thinks that when Amelia Earhart was about when she got lost that nobody knows what happened to her that she said no regrets like she would do it all over again because she had an amazing life but somehow she was lost at sea this was Amelia Earhart um, 
She, oh, she wrote, Eleanor Roosevelt wrote a newspaper column for 27 years. Wow, that's amazing. And let's see, she did lots of commercials. What? For hot dogs and other products. And one of them, she got um, a margarine commercial and they gave her 35, she got $35,000 from that. And she didn't keep the money. No, not her. What she did was she took all that money and she bought 6,000 um, care packages and gave them to needy families. That's just what the kind of woman she was. She's amazing. Okay, so now after you've got this all peachied up, sometimes I'll go a different direction just to fill in some of those white spots. That looks fantastic. Okay, so now I'm going to take my peach and, mm, no, I'm just gonna go straight for the tan. I'm gonna do the darker spots. So I'm gonna go right by the nose this is gonna be darker, a nice little shadow in here. I always go around the eyes. I will put a little bit of pink eyeshadow in there, but I like to go around the eyes. I went around uh, her nose still. It's gonna go under her nose. And we're gonna go on the side of her face. We're gonna go around her eyes on this side. So it looks like there's a shadow under there, around her eye. Under her eye, and under her, sh the bags under her eyes. But I mean, she's an older lady in this picture. I saw a picture of her wedding day. Um, so her husband became president Franklin D. Roosevelt in 1933 and um, his uncle was um, another president, and that's um, Theodore Roosevelt. Anyways, it's interesting how they have like the same bloodline. So you have like the, the Bushes and is there any more Roosevelts? Anyways, very interesting. Okay, now we're going to get around her crease lines. She does have this um, crease where her chin is. And then we're gonna go around her chin. And we're gonna go definitely underneath the chin. So it looks like there's a slight shadow under there. So we're gonna go along this line. She was very influential in the UN in helping um, needy people. She really loved helping people. Um, she loved women's rights and equality and um, she did not like segregation back then. There were segregated blacks and whites. She was like, nope, mm-mm, we're not, we're, not we're not gonna do that, okay, people? Anyways, she was kind of like beyond, be, be, born before her time. I mean, her nickname was Granny. All right, so now we're gonna put a shadow under the hair. She's little, still looking a little pale, but once you put a little pink on the cheeks, it really brightens her up. Her crease and a little color inside there and in her ear because there's a shadow I know she's looking a little manly right now but oh and I'm gonna put her eyebrows we're gonna put some brown and in there this is tan she does have a little gray in there but we're gonna put some here's the brown just a little bit of the brown on the bottom half so it looks like make it a little different than the skin where else am I gonna do brown I'm gonna probably do a little more brown in here and a little touch brown in there along the nose along the chin
and I'm putting some more tan down here. It needed a little more, more color. Okay, let's give her some color to brighten her up because she's looking, she needs some cheeks. So we're gonna put a little color on her cheeks, little rosy cheeks there. I remember my granny, she would love wearing pink. Um, sweetest lady you'll ever meet. And she just always had like, I don't know if it was natural pink cheeks or she'd put blush on, but she always had rosy cheeks and always wore pink. She was the epitome of cute cuteness. We call her granny. She just was oh, my favorite. Anyway, so we're gonna color in her lips pink and we're gonna put a little bit of red in there too, but we're gonna start off with the pink. So we're gonna color her pink lips. Beautiful, good job. And then I'm gonna put a little more pressure around the outside here. And we'll do that with the red too. And let's get a little more pink cheeks. Oh, I also said I'm gonna give her just a little bit of pink eyeshadow here, just to give that feminine touch. Oh, you know what I need to do? See this right here? Get a little line here. There you go. That's where the red parts in her eye are. So I'm just giving her a little bit more pinky. Can never do too much pink here. Let's go back and forth, different directions. Cute. Now, let's get the red. So the red, we're gonna put red here red here and then a red along the bottom of our lips here and then I'm going to go around the bottom here of the lips that is amazing okay now her eyeballs I used a what color did I use this is a light blue so I'm going to press harder up here and then as I come down here it's going to get lighter do the same thing over here press harder go around and then it's going to be light then I'm going to get, actually get blue blue and I'm going to make it even darker up here okay now I'm going to take gray and this is the shadow underneath She's looking beautiful. All right, I think you can probably finish the end. I just did a lot of gray here. So gray in the hair, get some gray in there, put some gray lines in there, and then I put some tan in there. That's all I did for the hair. And then we put a little shadow. So have at it, have fun, and I'll see you guys in the next. See ya.